Today I want to show you my quick and easy no bake bread pudding. Typically we give these out like Christmas cards around Easter. So it's very common for you guys to have maybe one, two or three tsureikya uh, left over. And this is that delicious uh, sweet egg bread that's uh, delicious with coffees and whatnot. Well, this recipe is a solution for the leftover. What I'm going to use for this is a 10 inch spring form pan. Very, very easy. Nothing complicated at all. And in fact, it's going to have a little bit of liqueur in this as well. So first things first, I'm going to grab a slicing knife and start cutting my tsureki into half inch slices about. And this is a great way because this is going to get layered into my pan. And I want you guys to see this. I'm just going to take my pan and just line the tsureki along the bottom, like on an even layer. Nothing complicated. Very, very easy to do this. And again, take a little more tsureki that I have left over here. The next part of this is a little almond liqueur. I was out of the good Greek stuff, so I had to use the Italian. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. And I'm just going to drizzle, uh, you know, a fairly modest amount, nothing, uh, just enough to soak the, uh, the tsureki, the first layer of tsureki. And again, the same deal. I'm going to continue on with this and continue building up my tsureki layers. I'm going to push this down now, a little more of the almond liqueur. So in total, you're probably going to be using about a quarter cup to a third of a cup of this uh, liqueur. Now, don't get all panicky. It's, it's actually, what is this? This is 28% alcohol. I mean, this is like, you can put this in a baby bottle. So, <laughs> so that is the first part of our layering process and when i'm done this cake is going to look like it came out of a bakery the next part of this is again a cheat i'm using instant vanilla pudding you can use you can make your own custard if you like but for simplicity's sake you know what instant pudding is delicious it's quick and it gets a job done According to the box instructions, this takes two cups of milk, but because I want this to permeate, I'm going to actually make the pudding with three cups of milk. I know, it's crazy. So, into a mixing bowl goes our three cups of milk, just like that. Tear open this. Vanilla pudding, instant vanilla pudding, like, I mean, come on. So, I'm going to do that. So just give our instant pudding a quick mix. It, on the box, it calls for like two minutes. You don't have to do it that much, believe me. This is something that you're going to put into this thing, and it's going to set, and it's going to give you a beautiful, luxurious creaminess. By the way, with this recipe, you not only can use this with tsureki, you can use this with brioche, you can use this with cinnamon bread, you can use this with challah, uh, whatever you have that's on the sweet side, and it doesn't even have to be fresh, so you, there's no wastage. So now, I'm going to take my liquid pudding, and I'm just going to pour it over the entire, my entire uh, tsureki here, just like that. Now, this I'm going to take and I'm going to pop into my fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it sets up. All right, so time to put this puppy to bed. Now, here's the thing with this. It's been about 10 minutes or so. My pud has firmed up. It's ready to go. Now, time to zhuzh this up even more. So what I'm going to need for the next part is if I can find it, is my offset spatula and a little Cool Whip. Very, very easy. And all I'm going to do with this, take this, 
just put it all on. This is this is like health food here. And just spread this out like icing. All right, I'll take that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just leave that there. So now, the next part of this is I'm going to take a little caramel sauce. This is all like ready-made stuff. Like that. Then over. Just do these crisscrosses. Just like that. It's a pattern. What can I say? So now, this is, oh, what did I do here? That's, that's cool. So, I'm just going to take this very slowly and carefully. Just release your cake and just lift. That is absolutely awesome. The next part here is a little whipped cream. So let me just fire, test fire this up. And all I'm going to do for this. With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the sky. Ta -da. And lastly, a glimpse into my childhood. A few maraschino cherries. And these I'm just going to seat on top of this, just like that. And put one around on every little flower or whatnot. And one more, just like that. Perfect. So there you go, my friends. That is my refrigerator no-bake uh, bread pudding. I used leftover tsureki, which is a solution for this. It is absolutely fantastic. Again, I'm going to set this even more in the refrigerator, and it's going to be absolutely perfect. Cut this up and see... Have a nice little piece, have a little go at it here. All right. Uh, I'll just use this for now and bring this piece over here. Slide this over a little bit. Oh, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Oh, yeah. And here's a nice little piece of what it looks like. All those delicious layers on the inside. It looks like this. Absolutely fantastic. Let me just grab a spoon here. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That, my friends, is one of the easiest and most delicious desserts you will ever make. And when you bring this out to the table, they will freak out, I promise you. So that's it for this episode on my no-bake uh, bread pudding. I used tureki, but you could use whatever else you like. I thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. For this recipe and many others, check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other and keep cooking. Much love. Bye for now.